Hey everyone, welcome to TechScale and uh, today we have with us the Redmi Pad Pro 5G that comes with an Excel display. I mean, that's what the box says and that's what the company claims that this is a big time entertainment tablet and in the side you can see it comes with the Redmi Pad Pro 5G branding. This is 5G because this variant that I have with me is a dual SIM 5G Excel tablet and the screen size of this particular tablet is around 12.1 inches and if you can see the screen is 120 hertz 2.5k again excel display that's what they are calling and it comes with a snapdragon 7s gen 2 and again which is india 5g ready and again it comes with dolby atmos and dolby vision so it's a full-on entertainment tablet and which comes with a whooping 1000 mah battery right in the box there comes a charger as well and although it says that this works best with the redmi smart pen and the redmi a folio case but that is not included in this particular variant so and also this does not come in any variant uh up front so let's quickly uh do the unboxing and see what are all the contents over here and we'll be doing a complete uh review from different uh, aspects the way if it is good for entertainment or you know you can work on this tablet and think like that we will be doing this is the tablet right uh, which lays just over this box. Let's keep it side and see what are the content of the box. So let's first all go with this section. This section contains a 33 watt uh, charger that is designed by Xiaomi. You can see and it's a USB A charger. Let's keep it at one side. This comes with a USB USB C to USB A. So the charging cable you can see is a C type cable and connects with the charger via USB A. So let's keep that aside and in this section i think this is going to have some paperwork again a big section but nothing very significant here and it also has a sim ejector pin because the variant that we have is having a triple i mean a dual sim card and i'll have to see if this contains a, a expandable storage or not so i think that is it from the content of the box let's keep the charger as well and let's take care of the tablet now my god this is this looks and feels very slim and Trust me, I feel like I'm opening a Samsung tab, but oh my god, oh my god, just look at this beauty. And again, there is some information over here, and they have also played one gimmick, if you can see. This is a camera, and this is just a flash. Don't uh, let yourself get fooled that this is also a camera. This is just a flash, and this is, I think, a 8 megapixel camera. We will also do a camera test for this tablet, but apart from that, uh, you can see this is a big screen. If we see the form factor of this tab, you can see this charges via USB-C and trust me, uh, this is a very slim form factor. Yes, and these are again, uh, one speaker here, one speaker here and fortunately a headphone jack as well. And then if you see this side around again, there is there are two more speakers. So this is a quad speaker setup and let's uh, quickly use the SIM ejector tool and see. First of all, I have to see where is the SIM slot, okay? So there is this uh, volume button over here if my camera focuses. Yeah, you can see there's a camera button over here and a microphone here, a microphone again on this side of the things. And let's open the SIM section and let's see what all type of SIM does this support and if this supports a, what do we call it? Uh, so you can see that this is a dual SIM uh, slot and again, you can put a micro SD, I think up to one terabyte as well so let's again quickly put it back and so i'll quickly set this tab up and i'll see you on the other side so as you can see i have set the tab up so i'll quickly swipe up to unlock the home screen and again you can see this is a good 12.1 in screen also this comes with some reflection you can see but i think great from uh the view the viewing angles are fine in the first impression this tab although was launched in may of uh, like 30th of may this year 2024 and uh the front of this particular tab is a uh, flaunting in Gorilla Glass 3 and the pole of the tab is made with aluminium, the back as well and the side rails. Again, this do support a stylus, a magnetic one. And on the front, you can see there's a whooping 120 hertz, 12.1 inches, Dolby Vision 60 nits LCD display, not a AMOLED. So please keep it on mind that this is a LCD display, although great when we look at it brightness wise this is great and a lot of customization this comes with the hyper os and android 14 right out of, out of the box and you, you could see that there is a update i think already uh, rolling in for this particular device so we can do that as well so this is 
the how the tab looks like although there is some small bloatware that you will typically see with xiaomi or redmi phones uh, again some mi and complete set of google apps whether you need it or not find devices here home is here and fitbit is also here because google acquired fitbit and now fitbit is also pre-installed let's see if we can uninstall it or not i think i'll not be able to uninstall it let's check okay you cannot uninstall this app let's see if you can uninstall fitbit or not yes you can uninstall fitbit that is there but i guess all google apps you cannot so let's try if we can un uninstall maps so you can see all the google apps you cannot install so definitely there is some bloatware in the tab right out of the box and apart from this there are there's netflix uh, already installed wps office some calculator app and a couple of other things as uh, well so let's go to the settings and see how much storage do we uh, get right out of the box so i'll quickly scroll down to the storage section i'll have to see where the storage section is okay they are not we'll go to about and storage so you can see right out of the box 28.6 gbs of your 128 gbs and i have 128 variant so 28 gb is already used if i click on that so you can see 13.49 gb it's a system files and again 12.65 is again system files taking and some 2.42 gigabytes some apps are installed so you can say almost almost 20 percent of the space is right out of the box not available to you and that is something that is a little of concern to me so again you can see my canvas is also here which again you can put some drawings and all of that stuff and i think you have to do it with a my pen i'm not sure if every other pen works on this thing or not because this supports magnetic stylus and i think there are very specific stylus that come with uh a magnetic mechanism and for the gaming platform uh, this is uh rocking a uh, adreno 710 and uh for the storage purpose it is having a ufs 2.2 128 gb and again i forgot to tell it can, uh, contains a uh, 8 gigabytes of ram and uh again qualcomm 7 is gen 2 that which comes with two uh i mean it, it's an octa core processor again which is having four high uh, performance scores and four uh battery saving or you can say yeah battery saving course for daily activities so i'll be doing a gaming test of this tab as well let's see how it performs and because there is a dedicated gaming mode here as well if you go to the bottom you will see in the additional settings you can see a uh, game turbo and some other things also available so i'll be doing a complete review of all those things so stay tuned and let's see on the other side that's all for this video and that's all for this tab if you found this video helpful and if you have any question regarding this tablet do let me know in the comment section or you can join the telegram channel that is in the description so we can have a little chat over there a lot of videos for this tablet will be coming up uh, in the next couple of days so do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned Bye bye